lines woven into thick wool fabric. They are like blankets with armholes and are worn by both men and women. The poncho keeps peasants in the mountains insulated from harsh weather while also functioning as a carrying sack when needed. The sarong is a colorful fabric wrapped around the lower body and worn by both men and women in Indonesia, Malaysia, and other parts of Southeast Asia. Made of cotton, silk or rayon, the sarong is very versatile and can be worn for formal or casual occasions. When tied around the waist over a shirt or tunic top, it forms skirts or dresses. Men will often wear a sarong as a skirt or kilt over pants. Living in hot tropical climates, the sarong helps keep the lower body cool and prevents chafing under tight-fitting pants. In general, traditional tribal attire utils as natural, breathable fabrics well suited to the local environment. Parkas, ponchos, sarongs and other items serve essential purposes beyond fashion, helping indigenous groups adapt to diverse climates and thrive. Though threatened by modernization, these unique items of clothing represent the cultural heritage, history and survival instincts of tribes in the Americas and beyond. Traditional clothing plays an important role in the cultural identity of indigenous peoples throughout the Americas. From the rugged terrain of the Arctic to the high mountain ranges of the Andes, the clothing worn by native peoples reflects their unique histories, beliefs, and ways of life. One of the most iconic examples of indigenous clothing in North America is the parka, or fow in the Inuit language, worn by the Eskimo people of the Arctic. The parka is a warm and durable coat made from animal skins and furs, with a distinctive hood that can be pulled tight to protect the face from the elements. The design of the parka has evolved over time to reflect changes in technology and cultural influences, but it remains a symbol of the resourcefulness and resilience of the Eskimo people. In South America, one of the most recognizable traditional garments is the poncho, worn by indigenous peoples in countries such as Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. The poncho is a rectangular piece of cloth with a hole in the center for the head, worn as a cloak or shawl over the shoulders. The colors and patterns of ponchos vary widely, depending on the region and the cultural traditions of the wearer. In some areas, the poncho is also used as a symbol of social status or identity. Beyond these two examples, there are countless other examples of traditional clothing worn by indigenous peoples throughout the Americas. In the Amazon rainforest, for example, many tribes wear clothing made from woven palm fibers or the bark of trees. While in the deserts of the American Southwest, the Navajo people are known for their distinctive woven blankets and jewelry. In many cases, traditional clothing is not just a matter of personal style or cultural heritage, but also serves practical purposes. In the high altitudes of the Andes, for example, the thick woolen garments worn by indigenous peoples help protect them from the cold and harsh winds. While in the tropical rainforest, light and breathable fabrics are essential for staying cool and dry. Despite the many different styles and materials used in traditional clothing, there are also many common themes that run throughout indigenous fashion in the Americas. Many garments are decorated with intricate patterns and symbols that hold deep cultural or spiritual significance. While others are designed to be functional and versatile, able to adapt to changing weather and environmental conditions. 
Today, traditional clothing remains an important part of the cultural heritage of indigenous peoples throughout the Americas.